if someone has a thought that they have CTE, the first thing they should do is they go to their doctor and they get some routine tests to make sure they don't have other problems going on that might be a, a cause of thinking problems, memory problems, mood problems. And if the primary care physician has you know, a concern that something might be happening, then go to a specialist and go to the right type of specialist. And that person might say, you know, I think there's a, a need for a battery of different types of tests to help us understand what might be causing your problems. Usually an MRI scan or maybe just a CAT scan would be done to be able to make sure that there's no structural changes in the brain like a brain tumor or stroke. But now we can actually use MRI scans to see the parts of the brain that might be atrophied more than other parts of the brain, and that gives us a hint of what disease might be happening. PET scans are sometimes used, but there are very few PET scans that are available for clinical diagnostic purposes for these very complex brain disorders. But there is one brain PET scan that's approved by the FDA that is used to be able to detect the amyloid protein that we see in Alzheimer's disease. And that PET scan can be used to help rule out Alzheimer's as the cause of something. So if someone has memory and other cognitive difficulties, or it's just not a clear cut type of case, the idea is that the doctor could have a this amyloid PET scan done, and if it comes back negative, then it's not as likely that the person has Alzheimer's as the cause of their problems. But there's right now no single test that is there to diagnose CTE. And it will probably be a combination of tests in the next few years. We might even have blood tests Something I never thought I would say. If you asked me five years ago whether we'd have a blood test for these complex neurodegenerative diseases like CTE and PSP and, and Alzheimer's and MSA, I, I would have said, you're crazy. A blood test? And so much has been going on in neuroscience and in the development of new ways of detecting things in blood just in the last five years or so, that's making me actually feel quite hopeful that we're going to be able to have blood tests that are going to be pretty accurate for many of these diseases. We don't have them really clear cut yet, but we're going to. Mm -hmm.